Hi everyone, Arslan here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm teaming up with the Re-Render AI to show you how to turn your chief architect or your architectural designs into jaw-dropping photorealistic renders. In just a few minutes, um, whether you're an architect, designer, or just wanna try out different styles of visualizations, this is a great uh, tool to have in your arsenal. So I will be breaking down my workflow and just showing how easy it is to do just that. Okay, so now just a little bit of an intro to what re-render is, uh, what is re-render AI and why re-render AI. Um, re-render AI as it has AI in it is an AI powered rendering tool that transforms your 3D models into stunning visuals and it has over 50 customizable styles. Think of it as your shortcut to professional grade renders without the hours of tweaking and uh, require of uh, premium hardware or different softwares. Uh, it works well with SketchUp, Blender, AutoCAD 3D, uh, Autodesk Revit, uh, Rhino, most of the 3D modeling uh, softwares uh, because all you really need is an image. Or, or you could upload a model as well, but I'm not going to be covering that in this video. Uh, what I'm trying to show here to you guys is it has a lot of uh, resources available on their website. Uh, you can look at different samples that have been created in re-render AI uh, to, for inspiration or just to see. Uh, and they have tutorials, they have other, they even show different workflows. Um, so feel free to check it out. Uh, I'm obviously not going to spend too much time uh, going through the website itself. I, I just want to quickly show you guys how to quickly go about rendering your um, your images in here. But there's a lot on their website. Feel free to check it out and, and take a look. And I know with the free plan, you might not get a lot of credits, but it's enough to kind of get a feel for the software. Okay, so now uh, I'm in Chief Architect. I'll be using Chief Architect X17 to demonstrate this. Uh, and I've used this model in previous videos too but the intent here is um, if you remember the intro video on this uh, specific video you're watching uh, this was a shot that i took and then i used re-render ai to enhance it but for this tutorial i want to actually do an interior render uh, of the kitchen space so i'm going to take a camera shot in chief architect of that view and it's a bit slow because my gpu is working over clock to render this live for me um, but the nice thing now is because we're going to be using re-render AI to do all our heavy lifting for us, we can switch to a standard rendering technique or a vector rendering technique or just clay, whatever you want, use that because re-render AI is going to add the realism to our render now. So with that, you can basically, uh, you know, really save on, on the power of your computer and not, not overwork it. So I'm just going to export a picture. Um, and it's, I'm happy with these, uh, yeah, this is fine. I don't want to replace, so I'm going to actually rename this as a different file, but essentially very easy setup. The workflow is literally take an image from your, uh, 3d modeling software. So in this case it's chief architect, you export it as a JPEG or a PNG file. Uh, and then you can see this is very bland, very like there's nothing exciting about it right now, but now what we can do is we can take it to re-render AI. We can upload that image in the fast render section uh, and, you know, start working on enhancing that image. So what I'm going to be showing you here is basically how to go about doing that, like how to upload that image. So you click on the button and you simply <laughs> select the picture, very easy, like I said, very intuitive, very easy. Uh, the whole thing is just amazing. Um, you, you import it and there's a mood board and there's preset styles. I'm gonna stick with the preset styles, but you feel free to, you can, mood board is essentially, you can pick a style that you like from another image and I'll try to mimic it, but I'm just gonna go with a simple single family um, with a warm wood and water is what I'm gonna go for. And I'm just going to use that uh, to kind of create a rendering. And really, here, here's the stuff. We're going to try out this night vision this time. Uh, I'll, try, I'll try spring. And then for sky, 
won't matter because it's an interior render, but you can pick anything, honestly. Uh, and for landscape, uh, I'll go with mountain. And then for architectural material, I want to uh, keep the feel of that wood texture. So I'm gonna select wood. And, uh, but there's a lot more options as you can see, you can pick anything. And really the whole work is the prompt. So you need a really solid prompt. So here, all I'm putting is interior kitchen render of a wood cabin in, a, in, in some type of settings. You can put like somewhere in the forest or somewhere in the mountains, whatever you want to put in here. Uh, and then I like to actually use precise mode because I like to keep things precise. <laughs> uh, but you can use curated balance to try out different options. And then the other thing I would recommend is preserve the texture if you're happy with your look. So I was happy with the cabinet styles and, and the texture of the cabinet. So that's why I selected that. Um, and then I always let it refine my prompts, okay? Uh, because I actually want to see what it can do without me telling it what to do. But you have the option to edit this at any point and, and, and really make it your own uh, and tell it exactly what you want. So let's render this and, and see what kind of results we get. All right, so I'm gonna pause here and let it render and then we'll come right back. All right, looks like it's done. So all in all, I think uh, this took 60 seconds roughly, so about a minute. Uh, and you can see just uh, how, like, look at the difference, right? It looks really, really, really nice. Um, and that's essentially the full full process of how you go about it. So now it's going to give you a couple of options, right? You can select which one you like and which one matches. Um, and then you have options to download, edit it, upscale it, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, uh, so like, you feel free to play around with this part, uh, but uh, you want to edit your image with any text commands. You can you can do that. So you can see uh, here, I just downloaded the image just to show like exactly the vibe that we were going for. It did a really nice job capturing everything. But now let's say I wanna go back in and edit this by um, adding something different. Like let's show some forest trees from the window and we'll process it. And it should do this quite quickly um, for us. Let's see, um, there it is, right? So you can see it's added the, the the trees uh in this image and there's our final result looks really nice um and then really the idea is you can keep on refining this image um adding to it so like let's say you mm -hmm. add some context to it add some people drinking coffee uh and then can't spell coffee but uh and then some kids also um uh, in the in, in the in the picture but again it's going to process this quite quickly for you and and you can you can really go back and edit this and do whatever you want with it in, in terms of the things that you would like to edit so if i show you this image now you can see the level of quality that is in this image it's amazing right and we and we were able to produce this very quickly so that's what i mean it, it, it's really great uh, how quickly we can get these renders and you have the option to go back, edit them and do all sorts of stuff. So in conclusion, re-render AI is a great tool to, to have at your disposal. Um, and in all honesty, it, you can always take these renderings further if you wanted to, to better enhance them in Photoshop or whatever you want. But you know, they're perfect, perfect for client presentations. Um, and they're really good for real estate marketing, design portfolios, or even social media content and marketing. Um, the workflow is simple enough, right? Any software you use, generate some images, throw those images into uh, Render AI, and voila, you have really amazing uh, renderings of bathrooms, exteriors, living rooms, kitchens, uh, whatever you need them to be. Uh, so whether you're designing a house or a commercial complex or, or a gymnasium, whatever it may be, Pitch a concept, re-render AI makes your work shine. Um, and, and that's really what I would take away from it. So with that being said, if you enjoyed this tutorial, hit that like button, smash that subscribe button, and drop a comment with your favorite render style. Huge thanks to re-render AI for collaborating on this video. Uh, I will uh, 
put a link in the description to their platform. Um, and in next video, uh, I want to take this uh, one step further. So stay tuned for that. And with that, uh, until next time, keep designing, keep dreaming, and let AI do the rendering. Thank you.